Hi, you're looking at Printcast Studio. This is the Stay at Home with Kids Edition. In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you some basic controls of the studio that you can take any image that you have in your house, as long as you crop it out or upload any image that you find on the internet and print off and bring it to life with interactive content and augmented reality. Hey everybody, it's Monday afternoon. I'm working from home. This is the uh, the second week of uh, working from home. So like you, I'm finding some new work habits, new workflows. I want to start talking about our system, our first studio on our on our uh, suite of tools that we're releasing. It's called Printcast. It's an image-based augmented reality. What you see is what you get studio. While that sounds like a mouthful, I assure you it's very simple to use. And I know right now some of you have some kids that may be around. So I thought maybe I'd show a way that you could have fun learning the system for marketing purposes down the road, but also using the free components of the system to let your kids have some fun and maybe make some content as well. So I thought what better way than take a uh, craft dinner uh, box that was around the house, I took a picture of it, I cropped it out. We're gonna upload it to the system and see what we can do just to have fun and just pretend I'm a kid for a change. It's not really that far of a stretch, so. So we're gonna go to start and our system start creating. So as you go to the system, there's no, you don't have to give any information away. You just literally go to the system and upload, uh, you see the start button right away. You don't have to put in any, any information yet. Later on you do, but uh, for now you can just try a system without even having to uh, wait for an email back or confirmation, which I know can be frustrating with some trial softwares. You get there, you really wanna try it. You have to fill a form, you have to wait for confirmation or on and on and on. So I'm gonna go start, I'm gonna click the start creating. And that up here is where we call our cast a title. And what this does, this allows us to have uh, for analytic purposes down the road. So in this case, I'm gonna call it KD. I'm gonna go select file. I'm gonna simply double click this. You can click it and go open as well if you prefer. I'm just gonna double click it. I get the preview in the window. And I'm going to go upload. Sometimes uh, it will take, I'm on a lower bandwidth connection here right now, so some items might just take a few seconds longer if you're working on an on a internet connection that may be a little uh, less than desirable. At work, we're spoiled with uh, broadband, but we've developed a system to work on any instances of uh, internet, more so for the, uh, the consumption of the content. The creating uses bigger assets at the beginning, which we can press down to serve up smaller. So. The content will even load in faster uh, once you've initially once you've initially uploaded the higher end content. The server does all the work and will compress it for serving up in augmented reality. In this case, web AR. So once I have the image uploaded, I can use my left mouse button to simply click anywhere outside of the image on the canvas, and it allows me to rotate the screen in any way I want to. Okay. If I use the right mouse button and click anywhere outside the image on the canvas, I can pan backwards, forwards, left and right. If I, if I choose to do, a, if I have a trackpad, I can use my two fingers or a scroll wheel, I can zoom in and out of the uh, scene. That, that part's the uh, straightforward part. And actually everything coming out after this is straight, pretty straightforward as well. So just to have some fun, uh, your kids, uh, I'm just going to get them pretending it's a kid. What would I want to do with this? Well, my kid is, uh, I've, I've introduced him into Super Mario Brothers late, recently, so uh, he's really loving that. So let's go with the Super Mario Brothers theme here. So I went to Sketchfab. Let's just go over to the left-hand menu here. So right now you can add images, image buttons, text, 360 images, audio, video, 3D objects, which are custom, or Sketchfab. I'm going to use Sketchfab right now because it can get you start out right off the gate. You have access to 400,000 plus models. As soon as you click it, you're presented to that dialog box. All you have to do is do a search for what you're looking for. In this case, I'm simply going to go Mario. It'll automatically, you don't have to hit enter, it'll automatically start live populating. I also want to see only animated ones. So let's see what we have here. There's lots of choices. I could get lost in here forever. I'm just going to pick one here. Uh, a bowl and a box. We'll put it on KD dinner, so let's see. Sure, let's see this one. So we, we can get a little preview of it if we want by hitting the play button. Sketchfab has, has a great system for integrating previews. 
sure it looks fun. Let's import that. So once it's on the scene, you'll see that it, it's showing me the animation right off the bat. So this is the easiest part to get around. So this triangle here allows me to click it and I can drag that object wherever I want on that image. Now, a lot of you, this will be the first time you've used a 3D system. So we tried to make it as easy as possible to use. If I want to make this bigger, I click, simply click on this ring on the inside, not outside it, not on the other side of it, but right on it. And if I click my mouse button, my left mouse button, and drag up, it'll make it bigger. Now, we've made it so that you can't go too big or else it'll start going back down to a smaller scale. The reason that is, is if you have an image and you activate an AR content, and you've made it so big, the object could be behind you, or it could be all around you, and it would, wouldn't be a very good user experience uh, at the end of the day. So in this case, we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna raise it up on the canvas by using this, but this blue one right here allows me to bring it up and down. Green is back and forth, and red is left and right. Now in this particular case, I notice that the animation is longer, uh, wider than the images. So maybe I want to rotate this image around. We have these little nodes here. So these little, these little uh, spots, these little dots, are 45, they snap to 45. So if I want this to snap to 45 degrees, I just click go once or twice, it snaps right to it. In this case, I want to rotate like that. And if you want to do a little bit more fine control, you can just click it within here and you can get a little bit more uh, finer control. I notice that the bowl is still a little too low. There we go. I'm going to bring this forward. All right, I'm kind of digging that. That's, that was kind of fun. Let's go save. Save and publish. You can save as draft. Since I'm using my webcam right now, I can't use uh, the webcam. Now, if you're uh, on your end, though, when you're in the studio, you can go save as draft, and you can hold up the craft dinner box to your webcam, and the webcam will actually activate the web AR as well. You don't just need to use mobile phone. In this case, I'm going to go save and publish. So I can share my phone. I'm going to go try it for free. You'll have some more options. Uh, right now, most of these items will be for free. There's a, I have a special account, if you will. So I'm just going to go place order. I'm going to open up my phone. I'm going to open up the browser. I'm going to go to portal.worldcast.io. You'll see how the notification came up here to let you know where to go as well. Or you can scan your QR code. I'm going to go return to studio in this case because I'm going to bring up the actual uh, share phone screen. There we go. It's all live. There I am. Hey. All right. So here's our craft dinner box. Let's take a look at it. There we go. And you'll see that our Super Mario Brothers cereal was instantly put on there uh, as we saw it on the preview. Okay, so let's go back to the scene. And let's add a little bit, let's have a little bit more fun. So now let's go back to uh, Sketchfab. Let's grab uh, another uh, item. Let's see what this mirror looks like. All right, let's import that. Same thing, once it comes into the scene, you'll be able to move it where you want to. It automatically highlights it for you so you can't get lost. We're just going to use the, once again, red left and right, green back and forth, blue up and down, triangles to move you around where you would like to go faster. We're just going to zoom up a little bit, scale up rather, bring up on top. Perfect. Now, let's have a little fun here. I know that the box is roughly X high, so I'm actually going to lower into the canvas. This is more of an advanced uh, tip. I just saw it just now, which would be kind of fun. Now, there would be no occlusion if you look, look around the other side, but uh, like you wouldn't get cut off. But let's just try this. That looks about appropriate right there. So let's go save. Return to studio. And we're simply going to go back out to the, uh, the viewer because it really is that fast. Scan it. And now we have a fun little scenario where Mario's actually jumping around just as we placed it, okay?
So let's continue. So now I'm going to go up to audio. I'm going to call this background music. I'm going to go select file. And we're going to add Super Mario Brothers soundtrack. We can preview it here. So it's going to go upload audio. So now that the audio is on the scene, I'm going to simply just move it off. Actually, it will never show. This icon will never show when you're looking at it in WebAR. So that's a great thing. And while I'm in here, I'm going to go to video. And I'm going to call this background video. Now I went to uh, YouTube and I just grabbed a free uh, background. Uh, it was actually licensed as free that you can use it for whatever purposes you want. Uh, I try to give attributes where I see fit. I'll put some of the links here in the uh, in my uh, description when I post this video. In this case, I'm going to go select file. It's interesting down here. You'll notice down in some of the upcoming webinars, I have some uh, other features. Uh, filter green screens a great one for filming yourself on green screen or an avatar or a person, so you don't need volumetric capture, and you can have somebody stand there talking uh, and, and follow camera. So as you move your phone around the uh, item, the, the 2D uh, plane of the, of the uh, green screen video will follow the camera so it feels a little bit more uh, present. So let's go upload, uh, let's go select file. Let's just grab this video. Let's go upload video. Now we're going to scale it up. And we're going to do that trick earlier I showed you. I'm going to use the little dot here. I'm going to drag it twice for 45. I'm going to go on this one here. I'm going to pull the mouse down and it's going to drag it down appropriately. So let's just move back over here. Scale it up. Move it up. Now we got a pretty good little preview of our scene happening. I'm going to bring it up flush with the uh, box. And bring the scale down so it matches the size of the box. So it really is a what you see is what you get studio in many, in many ways. Uh, so in this case, let's go save again. I'll return to studio. Go make sure my screen is uh, ready to be shared here. Here we go any second. All right, here we go. So I'm going to aim at the box. We'll see that the uh, we'll see that the content will come up on top. So we have a video playing in the background. We have Mario ba bouncing around down the box. And we have this bouncing box of, uh, of cereal opening up. So you, you can really get a sense now of how fast we can create uh, inter, uh, augmented reality scenes on print. What I haven't shown you yet so far is that all these items can be, you can tell it what to do in many ways. In this case, if I want them to, if I, if I, want, if I want interaction on this box to go through to a, an action, you can put a URL or a phone number. So when somebody taps the button, it would go through to a destination. So for marketing, this could be a buy now button that would allow them to bring in and tap the content and go to the uh, and go to the URL of choice, or call, for example. So that's that's a little bit of basic uh, the system. I'm going to go over a lot more features. This is just a little bit of a primer until I get the LinkedIn Live figured out and get that streaming from my house with my limited bandwidth. Uh, and there are a couple of things you'll notice that it's very easy to go around through the objects with the mouse. If you highlight, if I'm on the video right now, if I come over on top of mirror over here, he'll highlight and go away from transparent. If I go on the bowl, same thing. It's all about focus. The, uh, the more objects you have on the canvas, the more they'll be diminished and the more you're focused on will be present. So you can always worry about that, uh, about what you're seeing and working on that. It's all about staying within the sandbox and focusing on content. Uh, we'll go into the 
other side of the of the toolbox uh, and, and future webinars. Uh, all you need to know right now is the content that you can add, uploading an image, and be able to hit the save. Now, if you have a webcam, you go preview, it will open up the webcam on your device. Uh, actually, we'll open up my other webcam. Let's just find out here. No, so my other webcam is uh, disabled, but this would be where your webcam would be on this section here, and you'd be able to hold the image to the webcam and have it without having to break open your phone or going to worldcast, uh, pearl.worldcast.io. So go to studio.worldcast.io and you'll see the two studios that are uh, printcast and you'll see a geocast is upcoming. So thanks for watching. Create something fun. Show your kids how to make some quick uh, AR fun stuff that they can, uh, uh, with images around the house. Uh, and then that way you can have some fun with everyone. Or they can do something and then send it to their friend and say, hey, look what I created. Thanks so much.